While the power of the falls stands supreme, sometimes man and technology have had to intervene. In July of 1983, they blasted a section of Terrapin Point away. There was a fracture at the end of the, and so we had to bring the vent, uh, fence back so people wouldn't, wouldn't get on it. It was a dangerous uh, situation. They had to do it because the rocks were quite loose over there and there, there was a possibility that the rocks could fall and, and hit one of the Mate of the Mist bolts. So we uh, enlisted uh, uh, people from uh, the Geological Society and they came up uh, with an idea that they, they recommended that we blow that the point off. It was a definite historic moment because this was a man-made change in the gorge, not a natural change. Everyone is a tourist when they come to the falls. No matter who you are, you may be a justice of the Supreme Court or a kid visiting for the first time. You want a camera, you want a picture of yourself with the falls in the background. How, how many people, how many of the uh, important people came to the falls, we really don't know because a lot of them didn't, did not want the publicity and they snuck in and out. We've had many in, over the years, but the first started with, of course, the movie Niagara in my era, and that, that was Marilyn Monroe and Joseph Cotton and Jane Peters, and, and the, the, of course, that film is still on today. Pope Pauls, when he was a cardinal, he came. And uh, uh, there was a Polish priest from Buffalo who gave him the tour, and he was such a, a he was so kind, uh, so uh, down to earth. And uh, I remember, I said, uh, would you bless me? And he gave me the blessing. He gave me, he gave me a blessing, which I thought, uh, geez, it made me a better person, really. One of America's most beloved landmarks, Niagara Falls is a popular location for film and television production. Well, by far, I get more requests for Niagara Falls than probably any other attraction in western New York. And I think filmmakers see it as a place to, um, uh, that they'll never be able to replicate back in Hollywood. It's just, uh, it is what it is, and it's right here in western New York. Shooting in Niagara Falls is pretty exciting. It's, um, it's wet, it's misty, it's beautiful, it's epically wonderful. If it's not one of the seven wonders of the world, it should definitely be on the list. So I don't know who I should talk to about that. Um, it's just scenic and wonderful, and it's just, it's eye candy. The whole thing is just totally stimulating and wonderful. There are many reasons why the people living near the falls should be very proud of being there. The history alone. So many things began here. When you turn a switch in your house to put the lights on. That started here in 1895 with the first alternating current plant in the world. Well, how should that make anyone living here feel? We've got something special here. Let's, let's treat it that way, let's appreciate it, let's celebrate it, and when visitors come to experience it, let's welcome them here. Just walk there on a summer day and listen to the people there. People come from all over the world to see this park, and I can go there every single day, which I do. The people of, of Niagara Falls and the people of Niagara and Buffalo, it's ours to have and people come from all over the world to see it. It's a treasure that needs to be preserved forever. My dog and I walk, it's been seven years now, uh, we walk every single morning to the park. I, I have adjusted my life so that I start later in the day so that I can get there to that park every morning and it, it's just, a, it's, it's a wonderful experience for me. I meet so many people, and you know, if you really want to meet people, walk with a dog, especially because people on vacation miss their dog. She's a cute little cocker spaniel, and I've trained her to very nicely walk up to people, and so she introduces me to everyone, and I ask them where they're from and while they're there. So I get this, first of all, when people are there, I get that great, great experience of that. But the park is nice, you know, it's really, people, like I, people, the people from here, they don't even go over there to see what it's all about. It's beautiful, for one thing, you know, and people come from all over the world, and you're local here, and you don't even go and take a look, you know. You, you can take a walk, and, and there's so many things picnic. to see. You know? Yeah, picnic grounds there. Yeah, the picnic grounds are there, and there's 
they don't realize how beautiful it is, really, they don't, you know. But because we're there how many years? I started when I'm 50 and I'm 51. <laughs> <laughs> This is their home, and uh, there's not many people can say that their home is where Niagara Falls is, and, uh, and that in itself is a, a reason to be very, very proud of it. Thompson's Water Seal is proud to support the Cave of the Winds decks at Niagara Falls State Park. Watch the amazing story now. There are more than 53 million decks in America, but none quite like these. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilson at the Cave of the Winds decks at Niagara Falls, USA. And I want to show you why these decks are truly one of a kind. Of course, there is the location. Niagara Falls is one of the world's most famous waterfalls, with more than 150,000 gallons per second plummeting to Earth. It draws visitors from across the globe. And these decks have been enjoyed by millions of people since the 1920s. They give you beautiful views, and the top deck, called the Hurricane Decks, lets you come within 15 feet of the base of Niagara Falls. It's truly an awesome encounter with the power of nature. But that's not all that's unique about the Cave of the Winds decks. These decks are built from scratch every spring. That's because every fall, the crew has to take the decks apart and bring the wood inside. Otherwise, the weight of the ice formed over the winter would simply crush the wood. So, it sounds like a great job, right? Working outdoors in a glamorous location? Well, the deck builders at Niagara Falls love their job, but it's not as easy as you might think. Seriously, do not try this at home. <laughs> I'm here with Brandon Walsh, and Brandon Walsh heads the crew that builds the decks here at Niagara Falls every single year. Brandon, how long have you been doing that? A little over 15 years. 15 years, huh? And you, when do you guys start building? As soon as the ice starts to melt, end of March, beginning of April. Okay. How long does it take? Uh, a little over a month, four or five weeks. And uh, how close do you get to the falls then? Uh, about 15 feet from the base of the Bridal Veil Falls. Wow. But it feels like you're standing right in it. The tour wouldn't be any fun if the, if the decks weren't close to the falls, so the closer the better. And we do actually have to get in there. We have waders that we wear, chest waders, but you have to be careful because it is slippery and the river is powerful. That's a lot of deck. I mean, how much wood every year do you go through? We can reuse most of our wood here, but we do get maybe a thousand two by fours every year, mm -hmm. 150 two by eights. Uh, it's mostly pine and we do have some maple. So it's just you. How many guys in the crew? Uh, there's three of us right now. A few of them moved on to other jobs in the park. So we're looking for help if you're interested. <laughs> I'll help out after we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the decks at Niagara Falls are like your decks at home because they need protection from all this water. Talk about extreme deck care. So the crew uses Thompson's Water Seal Deck and House Solid Latex Stain in California Redwood. They get beautiful color and outstanding waterproofing protection all in one coat. Okay, about two weeks have passed since we were here last and the decks are almost finished. You can see how far we've come. We're about ready to open the Cave of the Winds decks to the public. More than 350,000 people are expected to visit this year, and we hope you can be one of them. We think you'll agree, there are no decks on Earth like the decks at Niagara Falls. Thompson's Water Seal is proud to support Niagara Falls State Parks and the Cave of the Winds decks as part of our VIP program. That stands for Very Important Places. For more information, visit www.thompsonswaterseal.com or www.niagarafallsstatepark.com.